1985. And the first thing we're going to see is Mary and Grant's apartment. Going up the stairs, they live in Yonkers, New York. Whoa! <clears throat> Here's the kitchen. They live in the attic of a big, big house. That's where Mary slept last night. where Lisa and I sleep, all our junk. It's Grant's bed and Holly's junk. Now we're gonna go take a look out the window. This is Yonkers, New York. And there's Lisa. What? Mm-hmm. There's Erica. She's looking out another window. And this is Mary in her bathroom, getting ready for the big day. Yeah? Zoom, zoom in on you. <laughs> the new movie star. I just filmed your whole apartment. Oh, no. I'm filming out the windows now. Now we're going to look out. This window in the kitchen. Lots of trees. And this end of Okay, Mary, tell us where we are. We are out of Blackstone. Mm -hmm. We're at the um, Pier 83, waiting for us for flying boat tour. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Erica just almost fell in the harbor. <laughs> Erica, you don't fall in the water, okay? Okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're uh, on the 
west side of Manhattan. West side Hudson of Manhattan. River. Hudson River. Get a moment or two later. Now that we're on the river, if anybody would like to get down onto the bow, you can do so. That's the lower deck downstairs, right out in front. If you like being out of doors and at the very front of the boat, wind in your face and all of that, the bow is open. You can't sit down there, you must stand. It's an excellent spot for head-on picture taking. You, know, you can shoot head-on or side to side. And they, that's the lower deck downstairs out in front, that's the bow. Let's look at the Intrepid over there on our left side, the big ship, 900 feet long. And it's now a museum here in New York. It's a floating naval air and space museum. You can board the Intrepid Wednesday through Sunday from 10 until 5. See all of the planes on our flight deck there. She's 900 feet long, about the length of three football fields. Tunnel. The Lincoln Tunnel is directly below us here. It's 100 feet down. Cars, trucks, and these buildings change the air in it every 90 seconds. They just cross over the Lincoln Tunnel. You feel the bumps? That was it. On your left side, the Empire State Building towering above everything else. Not a very good view of it, though. You'll get a better view of it later. Uh, look to the waterfront straight over on your left. You see the new construction going on there, the dark uh, glass? That's going to be a convention center. It's going to be the biggest convention center in the Western Hemisphere when it's completed next year. So big, they say, you could actually play 15 football games in the building at one time. With a lobby so high, you could fit the Statue of Liberty into the lobby of the building. Well, we'll see about that when it's finished in a year. That's on 34th Street. See that white street opening up 34th Street? That's where the Empire State Building is on 34th Street and Fifth Avenue. And the world's largest store is over there, Macy's Department. Oh, I took the last one. I won't be able to take a picture of Billy Coe. Hurry, heading home. Also, you might notice the piers on the left. <laughs> they're all numbered at the ends. See how they're numbered? Pier 61, Pier 60, they're all numbered. When you're going down this river, if you'd like to know what street you're at, you look at the pier number and subtract 40 from it, and that tells you the street. It's like Pier 60 minus 40, that puts us at 20th Street right now. Now this works till you get down to Pier 40. After that, you're on your own. If you look across Manhattan at the Gold Top New York Life Insurance Building, and there's a black building ahead of it, trademark building, Madison Avenue. See the slender tower ahead of that? It has a clock about halfway up. That's Metropolitan Life Insurance. It's Mother Men. And then looking back a bit on your left, look back at Pier 60. Right behind it, there's a little brown building with a bright painting on the side of it. See it? It's like a pop art painting. That's a jail. Federal Detention Jail. You may have read about it a week ago. Seven men escaped from it a week ago today. Five of those men are aboard this boat right now. <laughs> You're going to meet them in a minute. They're not on this boat. Come on now. There was no jailbreak. On your right side, that's a school on your right on top of the hill. That's the Stevens Institute of Technology. Anymore by freighters, freight ships. You were here maybe 10 years ago. You might have noticed there were ships, all kinds of freight ships over here on the west side of Manhattan. No more. Those days are gone forever. Most of the cargo comes in now on container ships. And you need a very large land area for a container terminal. And they don't have that kind of land to spare here in Manhattan. They build those terminals where they have more room. Places like New Jersey, Port Newark in particular, one of the largest container ports in the world, and Brooklyn and Staten Island, but not in Manhattan. They don't build them in Manhattan, no room. So they're gonna tear down all of these piers and they plan to build a super highway along this waterfront, a road that would be underground with a park on top of it.